The last time Inspector Setanga and his team visited two weeks ago, there were flies all over the food items on sale. Virtually all the items, including meat products, cassava dough, fish and plantain, had either been left at the mercy of flies or left on the bare floor. There were the preachers who blared out messages from their loudspeakers. The situation had improved on Tuesday, with the market looking quite clean, at least at the entrance, until Inspector Asetanga noticed some plantain had been on the bare floor. The market was indeed cleaner than what it looked like two weeks ago. It wasn't, however, clean enough for Mr. Asetanga. Bring all of them. See the women on this list. Let them come and clear the place before we go. I'm sorry. If you say Sunday, I know for where mobile no. Moon who say Sunday, we na bata anti no mobile yina as an amasta te moja. Why do you expect us to come and tell you? We are here for more than ten minutes. I'm giving all of you five minutes, or else we pack everything from here. You see everybody standing. We pack everything. So stop and come and remove the things, or we pack everything and nobody will sit here. This is road. A road. The women were reluctant to clean until he instructed the confiscation of their items. Take all this things into the pickup. Everything from here, pa pack it to the pickup. When they start to clean them, yeah, person mu yane yanko, do it. I think they're supposed to weed here. Today will be on you people until you solve the problem here. The okra, crabs, eggs, papa, cassava, and kokoyam were all seized. Men, I'm going to give me papa. That was when they got to work, taking out plastic bottles from the gutter while others swept and cleared overgrown weeds. You are waiting for us to come. Ma, don't worry. We are here now. Here now. In no time, the entire place was neat. So next time you come in to sit here, turn and see whether this place is clean before. Now that you stand, look at the drain. Is it not clean? It's clean. Is it it's very nice. Those selling meat and fish had been told to use sieves to keep the flies away from their items. They instead covered them with polythene. I want to say, I see more amount of namne na yebana mo namne man fast sievings ye namna ye be sizi. Oh, mo nu nu ya koke sana ke raba boi hanu nu sieve. This rubber is causing the meat to ferment, to rot, to get rotten. The rubber is conducting heat and doesn't make the meat safe. So if somebody advise you that if you use the rubber, you are for protecting the, the meat or whatever you are selling, I don't know where you have learned that technology from. The pork seller explained her sieve was not ready. Just come and see. Look at the fly. You see the fly. Blue. This blue fly. Her sieve was, however, delivered shortly after. The cowhide, meat, or willy seller was found to have failed to comply. Madam Jardin, Madam Jardin, why? Madam Jardin, Jardin. Come forward, sieve. Come forward, sieve, bro. Oh, oh, sieve. Oh. Other offenders were picked up, but Inspector was yet to see the worst. Elsewhere in the market, some cassava dough sellers were found selling in mud. Their items were confiscated and missed resistance as they claimed their sieve was still being built. But Inspector Asitanga will not budge. Yeah. 
Muya ha fire, nai maba, nai ya yimo de amamu. Eno ano no. There was also this corn mill, which was as dirty as an abandoned warehouse. Recognizes. So the day we came here, what did we ask you to do? To say I should cement here. Then to to paint here. Okay, have you done it? But my mother was dying, so I travel. Your mother did not. He died as a child. Yeah, yeah. So you traveled. Who closed the place? Who closed the place? By the standards that we require requires of you to do. When you are ready to do it. Come and tell us that you are ready to do it. Then we'll come and open and prosecute you before we allow you to do it. Remember the preachers? Throughout the market today, there was no sight of a single one.